So if you're struggling to play scales hands together, it's important that you can play one octave first. It's also really important that you just play very slowly. just need time there to think about the change to select the right finger and there and there you can also just practice going up several times the same going down and when you do two octaves don't just constantly go up and down in one go. You need to make sure that every moment, every time you make a change, that it's the correct change. Um, so for example, change after the three, and again, there's the four thumbs on C. So if you're doing two octaves, landed on your thumbs at the halfway point. And just do that several times until you're really good at that. And if you wanted to try a bit faster, you could. And then two octaves. Again, making sure that everything is correct. I've done the threes, there's the four, the thumbs. Bring the four over in the left hand. The pattern starts again, the three carry on there's the three in the left you can do that several times so on the way up it's the right hand that leads it's the right hand that changes first and the left hand follows so you've got to be keeping track of those changes so the three in the right the three in the left the four in the right puts the thumbs on C the four in the left pattern starts again there's the three here's the three in the left And the same on the way down. It's good if you can just practice this separately as well. Just try and get halfway down. The left hand is going to lead. That's going to change first. Three in the left, three in the right. There's the four in the left. You must land with your thumbs on C. You can do that a bunch of times. And then once you've got the hang of that, try and go all the way down again. Keeping track of your changes. Three in the left, three in the right, four in the left. Got those thumbs on C. You can pause there if you want. Get the four coming over in the right hand. The pattern is starting again in the left hand now. There's the three in the left, the three in the right. Once you're good at that, you can practice going all the way up and down. Again, keeping track of your changes. Very slow. There's the three in the right, three in the left, four in the right, thumbs on C at the halfway point, four in the left, the pattern starts again, three in the right, three in the left, coming down, three in the left, three in the right, Four in the left, thumbs on C at the halfway point. The four comes over. If any, at any moment, something goes wrong, probably best to just start again. Don't do this. Bring a three over in the left hand and then realize you've gone wrong and then try to fix it somehow or go back to that point and carry on because you've already you're just training your mind your brain to do that change at the wrong point bring the see so yeah, i learned the four there so I automatically do that but if you were going to bring the three over that would be wrong um so it's best to just start again all right hope that helps